everybody and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've done sort of a sit down video like this so i'm excited to just chat to you guys and um, so in today's video we're going to or i'm going to be <laughs> going over um, the results i got for second year <laughs> So my name's Grace and I'm 20 years old and I've just finished my second year of BSc Microbiology at the University of Leeds and I'm actually doing a placement year so I have currently moved, there's going to be another video on where I am um, and things like that um, either up before this video or probably after um, but do go and check out that video if you want to find out a bit more about that. Um, there's also a video on um, where what placement I'm doing and where that is so if you want a bit more information on that then I will link that in the description below um but yeah so in today's video I'm just going to go through my results so basically for um universities in I presume like the UK I think it's pretty much the same all over um, we have a grading system which consists of um, if you get 70% you get a first, if you get 60% you get what's called a 2-1 and if you get 50% it's a 2-2 and then um, if you get 40% it's a third and then if you get lower than that it's a fail. Um, I don't know if it's the same for all universities but I know for Leeds when they sort of go to doing the overall classifications I think it's actually six point eight five so sixty eight point five percent to get first and then basically the same little jumps below the sort of bigger boundaries for those grades um, but I'll put that on screen so it's a bit clearer for you guys to see so basically what I like to do throughout the year specific um not specifically particularly for um my modules that are perhaps more coursework based so for me I have a 40 credit module over the two semesters which is sort of the skills slash lab based module and that's all coursework so we have like um, some pieces of work that are worth like 5%, 20% so I think it's just nice to sort of record all of my grades um, so I can see how I'm doing and how I need to do in further assignments. So overall for, so it's called skills, so microbiologist 2, I got 73% which is a first um, and then we basically had, um, we started off with a formative lab report so that was so that means it doesn't count, it's just sort of a practice. Um, and then we had two sets of tutorial questions, um, which were both worth 10%. And then we had two lab reports, which were worth 12.5% uh, each. Um, and then we had um, two practical assessments. Uh, one of them was worth 20%, one of them was worth 5%. And they call them practical assessments, although obviously they weren't actually practical given the circumstances this year. So we basically just had to, um, basically we had like a tutorial with some information and we had to fill in some um, questions and what they call like a pro forma. So it's just sort of questions and um, written answers kind of thing. Um, and then we also had, I had to do a presentation um, and given my student engagement job this year that's and obviously doing a lot of interviews um, for my industrial placement application that I found quite easy to do. And then we had um, an essay which we had to do which was 2,000 words um, and then we also had a final um, pro forma assessment which was only worth 5%. The essay was worth 20% by the way. Um, and the presentation 5%, I don't think I said that. Um, but overall, I basically got first and two ones in all of those, and that's really helped me because it's worth 40 credits. So um, if you don't know, we basically, over each university year, we have 120 credits of, of modules. Um, so this module is worth 40 credits, which is obviously a third of all my credits. So considering it was coursework based, that really helped me out. Um, and so considering as well, I got first and two ones that helped to bring my grade up. For, um, so for example, there were some modules which I struggled a bit more and got lower grades. So I was really pleased that I could do really well for this one. So I'm then going to go to my semester one um, modules. Right, so we'll start with cell biology of disease. For this one, I got 67%, which is a very high G1, which I was really, really pleased with. Um, when you go into first year at first year, <laughs> when you go into second year, um, at Leeds anyway, there's a lot more essay writing. So predominantly for first year, we just had sort of 
multiple choice questions. Um, so often they say that in semester one, that's when our grades kind of dip a bit because you know, we're not used to this type of essay writing and it can be a bit hard. Um, so what I was really pleased with is that my, for the majority of my modules, my um, sort of essay grades um, improved for the second semester, which was something that I was really pleased with because I actually did a lot, sort of a lot of work on essay writing and things like that um, over the period of the year so that I could do better basically. <laughs> so for this module, I had um, a series of problems, so like a cell biology problem that I had to complete, which was worth 15%, and then I had um, a multiple choice uh, online exam, which was worth 15% uh, as well. And then for the overall exam, we had um, a multiple choice component, which is worth 40% and an essay, which is worth 60%. Yes, yeah, so I got 67% for cell biology of disease. I then had molecular virology. And for this one, I got uh, 60%, so a lower two one. So we had um, an M two multiple choice components for these, which were both worth 15% as well. And then for the overall exam, we had an MRQ, which was 40% and an essay, which was 60%. So the same as cell biology of disease. Again, the essay part was something that I definitely struggled with and a lot of us did struggle with. Um, and I believe there was a bit of contention with the final exam for this module. Um, but no, overall, like still a 2-1, so I was, I was pleased with that. And then my final one for first semester was genes and genomes and if you know me you will know that genetics is not my thing at all and this module I think a lot of people felt the same was just horrible like the way it was taught they did like um it was all recorded videos and some of them were so long it took so long to go through it didn't make sense and then they did do live sessions where you could ask questions and stuff but I just think the way it was run wasn't as effective as it, as it could have been compared to the other ones which were like all live sessions all live lectures um, so this one I just really struggled with um, and honestly I was just hope to pass this module at this point. So yeah, so overall I got I only got 50% on that module but honestly I was I was pleased with that like even if I just wanted to, to pass it. Um, so it's a little bit not upset, it's a little bit annoying to have that module sort of bring my grade down a little bit but also I just really didn't like that module and I put as much effort into it as I could so the fact that I got a 2-2, I, I will take that. Um, so we had like a mini review essay that we had to do, which was worth 30%. Um, and that was basically like our first proper essay um, of uni and of the year. Um, so everyone really struggled with that. And not well, obviously there'll be people who have done really well, but from my course anyway, a lot of people were unhappy with what they got overall or thought they'd done better. And that's because there really wasn't much guidance given, which I don't think it's very good. Um, but I got 55% for that mini review essay, um, so that's a 2-2, two, two. and then um, for the MRQ, and so basically for the final exam we had to do um, an MRQ which was 20%, um, and then another sort of uh, MRQ on a separate, um, so separate topics as part of the module which was 40%. And then we had to do like short answer questions for 40%. So there wasn't even an, um, it's a bit of a weird exam as well. And you could only, you couldn't go back to it either. So you had to do it in one sitting, which was like two or three hours, which was just so long. So that was first semester. As you can see, it wasn't the best, um, but that's, as I said, it's all new, a lot of the things. And also this was like our first chunk of proper online learning. So that was very different. Um, and also you've got a factor in like, um, starting out living in a new house and new things going on coming back to uni um, and obviously with Covid going on there was that was another thing to add to the mix so but overall I was pleased I got two two ones at first and a two two like I would take that that's the average overall is fine so now we're going to move on to second semester which I was much more pleased with um, so obviously that factors in my um, skills module which I got first on and then we'll go to skills in communicating research from university so this was such a good module i think i've spoken about it before a little bit in um some of my other videos but basically we had different online sessions to do with like um, event management public relations um advertising um health and safety I'm trying to think of the others there's basically a real mix um 
communicating within science and within different industries so it was just such a good module in terms of careers and just general life skills and professional skills as well so it was really 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 good um module basically and it was also run by um one of the lecturers who was my manager um as being a student engagement intern she she was like very involved with that um so i knew her and she knew me really well which was good so this one we basically had to do an oral presentation which i got 74 percent on um and then we had like a formative reflective block that we had to do um, and then we had to do like an overall report. So there was basically four pieces of research that we would give him um, that basically academics from Leeds were working on. Um, and we had to choose one to um, basically produce like a, an engagement event for um, and write, basically write a report on that. So overall, I got 67% for communicating research. So that was a high two one, which is uh, I was very, very pleased with. Um, but for my report, I got 70% and um, I really wanted it to be the best that it could be. So I basically submitted it um, a day late, which meant I had a 5% penalty, which brought me down to 65%. But I think I wouldn't have got that 70% if I hadn't spent that sort of extra time going over it because I just wasn't happy with it overall. I really wanted to add a bit more to it. So then we'll go on to medical virology. Overall, I got 67%, which high tier one again, I was pleased with. Um, the essays that I wrote this time around for, this, for semester two I felt went a bit better. So for this one we had two MCQs which were both at 15% and then we had um, the final exam which again was 40% MCQ, 60% essay. And then medical immunology. So for this one overall I got 64% so it was the same again with the two MCQs and the final exam. Um, so I was pleased with that, a 2-1 again. This wasn't my favourite module. Um, this was um, one of the key lecturers was my old tutor when I was doing biological sciences and he he wasn't the best I just he like there's some lecturers who are just like the best teachers in the world you always wish you'd have them and then there's others who are definitely more like academic research focused rather than student focused um, so I just didn't really get on with this module as much um, I've left this module till last because this is the one that I was really, really happy with. Overall, for the whole module, I got 78%, which is the highest I've ever got for a module. So I was just really happy, really. And also my um, personal tutor and my previous programme uh, leader, programme manager, um, ran it and he's just amazing. So I think that really paid off as well. So, so yeah, I don't really know what to say. I was just really, really, really pleased with that. Not only did I get 78% in the summative MCQ, so we had a formative one, which I got 88% on, which is just crazy. So a really high first. Um, and then the second, which was the summative MCQ, which is worth uh, 20%. So then we had the final exam, which was like 80%, um, which was an MRQ component and essay again. And I was really pleased with this essay. I put a lot of effort into it like I did with the others and it actually really paid off so I ended up getting 75% in this essay which is far more than I have ever got in an essay. Considering how much work I'd put into sort of practicing essays and working out the best techniques and adding critical analysis which is something that's really confusing I was just over the moon basically to I didn't really care about my other essay marks because the fact that I'd finally got like a solid first in this in an essay, in any essay, I was just so so happy. Um, but anyway, you probably want to hear about my overall grade. So overall, uh, given um, all how much the modules are worth in terms of credits and all the overall grades, I came out with 66%, which is a high two one, and I'm thoroughly pleased with that. It's been a really tough two years, particularly with um, COVID and all of that factored in. So. And irregardless of COVID as well, it's just, I, I mean, it may not feel hard for other people, but I have found the course quite challenging at, at times, particularly when it comes to things I'm not as uh, keen on or not as good at, such as genetics. Um, so I'm overall really, really, really pleased. So those are my grades for second year. Um, I just want to say as well, sort of a little disclaimer that grades aren't everything and it, it doesn't mean everything. I think a lot of the time, when you watch YouTube videos, people are like, oh, I'm going to do so bad. And then they get like a really high first of like 90% and it just makes you feel bad. So I'm almost glad that I can just sort of show like, 
I have worked hard, I have done well, and yeah, yeah, I'm not one of those people who's got who's soaring into the first, you know. I've got a high G1, I'm pleased with that. I've put lots of work in, um, particularly with the essay thing, so and I think that's paid off overall. So you shouldn't compare yourself to others, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's, I just want to say, like, grades aren't everything. Honestly, I'm more proud of my achievements I've made through my different roles, such as the student engagement intern. I'm actually um, doing that again till December, sort of a handover, like, oversight leader position, which I'm really, really pleased with. Um, and also in terms of my confidence when it comes to presenting and all the different interviews and things I had to do. So the different roles that I've had, my sporting achievements and basically everything sort of extracurricular out of academia is what I'm most proud of. Obviously I'm proud of my like work over the years academically, but I honestly think that my extra roles have really made me the person I am today. So yeah, growth definitely aren't everything. I think especially when you come to university, when you do apply for roles, it's about your experiences and who you are as a person. So yeah, I just wanted to say that at the end. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe down below. Give it a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.